Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bennington Made. This is the series that we explore how Bennington products are actually made in our hometown right here in Bennington, Vermont. We're here at Bennington Bowling Lanes uh, and Brooks Babbling Brook, which is the newest simulation for indoor golf. We're excited to go see how all this is made. Come on, let's go check it out. Drew and I'm manager here at Bennington Lanes and I'm going to give you a sneak peek at what the backside of Bennington Lanes looks like and show you what the machines do when you throw your ball down back. Come on and follow me and I'll show you the way. So be careful, it's scary. So this was built back in this part of the building was built back in the 1950s. Pin boys used to sit back here and set pins. I'm sure there's many people in the Bennington area that used to work back here and set pins. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to work back here. We've got parts and equipment everywhere. A lot of stuff goes into keeping the machines working and running on a daily basis. We're open seven days a week from 9 a.m. until about midnight most nights. As we come down here, you can hear that it's very loud. When all 18 lanes are going, we can barely hear anything at all. I'm gonna show you how each machine is running and working. Here we go. So you're gonna see the pins are gonna come up in the pinwheel. The ball is gonna come up on here. It's gonna roll. And it shoots back down to go back up. That's the ball return. And what happens is the ball goes out and it's an underground return. So it's actually going below the lane to go out and be returned above. And it goes up a pulley system. So it goes up back under the lane and then it'll go back up to the bowler and goes back up on top of the lane. So it goes to the lane return on the lane to the bowler. Sometimes when a belt breaks, we have to replace that. They'll get stuck on the underground return. Those are real fun to <laughs> get out from the ground. So we did all these renovations back in 1999. My mom and dad decided that we were gonna renovate and bring the bowling Bennington Lanes back to what was state of the art. And my parents reinvested over $500,000 in 99 to do the renovations of the scoring system from automatic to the ball return. We went from wooden lanes to synthetic lanes. This is where all the pins turn. And we call this the pin deck. Sometimes if things don't, if the pin gets turned going the wrong way, we'll call it pin jam. And it'll have to come down and clear out all the pins and reset it. But these machines are from the 50s. We get them worked on yearly by a head mechanic. He comes in for a week in the summer and usually comes down for a week in the winter time and does general maintenance. And then our manager, Peter, is also does general maintenance for us on a daily basis because you have to maintain the machines to keep them running smoothly. But machines still running from the 50s. The other interesting thing about these machines is that they're called sister machines. So the machine to your right and the machine to your left look the same. So when I'm down here working on something and I have to replace one of these belts, or I'm pulling a belt up that has a pulley on it and I can't quite figure it out, I look to the right or I look to the left because they all work the same and I figure out what I'm doing wrong by that and I can usually put things back together by looking at it that way. The number one piece of advice Peter gave to me when I started working here um, full time after my dad passed was is the number one thing you don't want to do is 
get all worked up about something because you can figure it out and you can fix it. So don't stress about it. Because I used to get so nervous because the worst thing you want is a bowling machine not working. Your customers won't be happy if they're not bowling. So here are some replacement lanes for us. When we have a lane that is not in proper use, we have to take the boards out. It's three boards in a lane. So we take a board out uh, to replace the lane. And they're synthetic lanes. So we replace them. And usually I think it takes five to seven years before we have to replace them. But in order to do that, we have to take them all apart, take each board out, and it's about a two-day process. So usually that's a summer project where we close for a week and we do our major repairs then. This is our workbench that makes the bowling alley machines work. Um, Peter is our on-site mechanic and I was just uh, talking about how he goes, okay, I need a 17005 lock nut 110 2-4. And he comes over and he looks and there's like six of them in there and he can fix a machine with that and i'm always like oh it's just that one little part in that huge machine and you made the whole entire machine work again it's amazing how um peter can make the mechanics of a machine like that work um, and he is our on-site mechanic and if he can't fix it then we have our um, big mechanic gary come in and work on things but this is his workbench, and this is what he needs to use to fix the machines for Bennington Lanes. Um, he literally knows where every little thing in here is. Every little drawer has a purpose. Every little drawer has something in it. And when you touch his bench, he knows you've been here. Um, it doesn't look neat, and it does look messy, but Peter knows when you've been here. And he's like, who's been down back? who's been on my bench. Um, to me, this looks like a lot of things that I don't understand, but to a mechanic, I guess this is their candy store. Um, and pretty cool that in our day of age of technology, someone working with their hands can still do this and can still work on machines. He um, goes all the way down the line here with his parts and continues to show me how to do things. And I continue to evolve and learn how to work on the machines myself. Uh, 35, didn't think this is where I would be in my life doing what I'm doing. But it is, and go with the flow. It's been going great. So little Bennington, Vermont with an 18 lane bowling center has a lot to offer using our hands and keeping it going. So, if you uh, have any questions, ask away. Okay. On the green, on the green. Here we go. Look at that. Distance to pin, 13.2. I'll take that, I would never get that ever. Sweet, that is awesome. This is our new addition of Babbling Brooks Indoor Golf at Bennington Lanes. We went under construction this September for putting in the indoor golf simulators. This building was built in the 50s and what we realized was there were a couple of roof lines above us that had to be removed. So we removed the roofs in the construction and we had some structural things that we had to change because in the golf simulators we had to have the projectors and the lights. So with that we had to change where the structural beams were for the, um, Oh, what is those things called? Now I can't think of it, but that doesn't matter. The important thing is, is that they're here. And what this indoor golf simulator is, is you can come in and we have over 30 courses for you. And you can choose from going to the driving range. You can play on a course. If you have small children, you can have, there's games on here. Um, you hit here in this area. There are four cameras above you. There are four cameras in the corner on your left. There are four cameras on in the corner in the right. And right now we're looking at hole seven at Pebble Beach. A lot of guys are coming in and ladies and playing closest to the pin. 
We just had Matt in here trying to shoot. I'll give you an example. Hopefully I will uh, not disappoint. Oh, I'm hitting the bunker here. I'm not even hitting on the green. Mike, you were hitting on the green here. Here we go, on the green. I bounced up. There you go, people, 29.5 distance to the pin. You can come on in and get as close to it as you can, too. I'm Babbling Brook of Babbling Brooks Indoor and Golf. Come on in and see me. Thanks again for joining us uh, for another episode of Bennington Made. This is how Bennington Lanes is made right here with Brooke and her family. have been here for a long time. Thank you again for tuning in. Stay tuned for the rest of our episodes. I'm Matt Harrington with the you Bennington know, Chamber. Sorry, I just thought of this. Um, 35 years. Okay. No, keep rolling. This is great. I forgot we're in our 35th See? season. 35 years. This is all the great roll there. One, two. No! We'll keep that one. That one we will. Fun. We will. We will. Sorry. 30, I'm 35 years because we bought this the year I was born. 19. I'm 35. Congratulations. But I was like, when you were seeing that, I'm like, holy crap, I've been here that long. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Bennington Made. This is how Bennington Lanes is made. So when you put the ball down the chute, this is where it all happens, right over here with Brooke. Your family has been here for 35 years this year, so we want to congratulate them. I'm Matt Harrington with the Chamber of Commerce right here in Bennington. Thank you for watching another episode of Bennington Made. Tune in next time. Can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for tuning in and can't wait to see you next time.